hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here welcome 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 i'm so glad to have you join the fam so my name is Iswat and i am a christian content creator so i create content around education faith beauty and lifestyle please click on the subscribe button subscribe to my channel and also just hit the notification bell so you can be instantly notified when i have a new video up and running all right guys so let's just jump into today's video all right so today this video i'm going to be covering part three of coming abuse god's way series okay part one i just shared with you guys my abuse experience just what that was like so in part two i'm going to be talking about the effect that the abuse had on me okay so guys we're going to be moving on to the part three of this series which is the healing journey all right guys so let's just jump right into it so i'll say my healing started even before i had met christ so i'd share that and um, one of the things that i would I say struggled with was being sexually active at, at a very young age being a lesbian and I remember just praying to the Lord about him just asking him to help me you know like you need to help me Lord I, I don't like I didn't bring this upon myself this was handed to me by life and I really need help and like I said I just lost all feelings or attraction towards women at exactly age 10 a few months before I started high school at an only girl so that could only have been the you know the hand of the Lord guys I would say that the Lord had healed me from one being sexually active at a young age but I still struggled with shame I struggled with depression mood swings I was I would say bipolar pretty much on up until I was 21 I mean at the time I thought it was just mood swings but now like thinking back at and just like walking through my life with with God I can like pinpoint that you know this was bipolar because it doesn't like it's not normal for people to have for a person to have such mood swings so i'd really struggled mentally depression bipolar sometimes i'll cry myself to sleep literally just also with my self-image i pretty much had zero self-confidence bring up as a teenager i i just also had a victim mentality i i just you know oh, this happened to me so i must be sad this happened to me so my life must be crap this happened to me this is why i'm not doing well in school that was pretty much the things i had struggled with i would say like there was a stronghold in my mind like the lord had given me victory in, like in my body in terms of like being sexually active and being sexually um being sexually active but i still had a major stronghold in my mind that the lord had to wage war to break like i said i'm still in healing guys like i'm still healing from this thing and like this was when i was four years i'm 22 today 22 minus four that's what that's 18 yeah that's 18 so 18 years ago guys and i'm still healing just to show the effect that this can have on somebody's life i would say that the first thing that happened when i gave my life to christ that was when true healing started and i started studying the word of god and just drawing my identity from the lord that's where true healing started prior to that i had identified myself as someone who had been sexually abused that was my life and nothing could go well for me because that happened but giving my life to christ i started drawing my identity from the word of god and i'll say that a mind shift started happening from there you know i, I became more confident i became more joyful because like i said i was bipolar if you ask my sister my students i had major horrible mood swings growing up as a child nobody could really understand even my mom like nobody could really understand why one moment i'm okay the next moment i'm just not myself <laughs> mind shift started happening when i gave my life to christ at 15 but it wasn't until many even many years after that more healing came because like i'd given my life to christ but i didn't really still know who i was on the lord so i was still struggling with that shame i didn't want anybody to find out like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i don't want anyone to find out about this thing okay and <laughs> guys it wasn't until the end of this or beginning of this year that i actually came out to tell my parents about because nobody absolutely nobody probably just the person who had abused me what had happened to me okay so yeah the lord started the healing process at 10 years old at 16 more healing came when i gave my life to christ it started growing um, as a believer i um, drew my identity from the word of god but i still really struggled with the mood swings and just how i saw myself i never really like i i I, I didn't really like looking at mirrors just because I, I didn't like who was staring back at me because I taking my identity from the wrong source 
struggled with how I saw myself. Never thought I was pretty enough or beautiful enough or smart enough or good enough, you know. So it was a whole lot just dealing with all of that, guys. I would say it was particularly hard because nobody, nobody knew what I was struggling with. Nobody knew what I was going, was going on in my mind, okay? That was pretty much the healing. 2020, um, the Lord asked me to actually share what happened with my dad. No, I think it was my mom first. I just, I think I just shared it in person. Like, oh mom, this happened to me, but I'm okay. <laughs> And she's like, what? Like, how are you going to tell me that and say, you're yeah, okay? You know, but I was genuinely okay. Like, God had healed me. Like, it wasn't a problem anymore. So I shared that with my mom and my brother and my dad as well. And my, of course, my dad was so heartbroken. He's like, wow, why didn't I tell him that he didn't know I was struggling with this and that and that? I would say that was also another step in my healing journey. Just being able to come out and share with, what I said, the most important people in my life, my family, what had happened to me. So I shared that with my family, but none of my friends knew i don't think i've even like this will be my <laughs> the first time my friends would be finding out about this i love you guys don't take it personal so i told my parents and you know i still didn't really want anyone like okay i've told the most important people in my life i don't want anyone else to know but the lord started staring my heart again about how i'm going to share <laughs> I'm going to share this with people. I didn't know when, I didn't know how. I just knew that he would have me share. I'll say that major step in my healing journey came when God led me. Again, I'm being very vulnerable, sharing a lot of things with you guys because um, I actually want this to help people, people who have similar experiences that I do, that I, that with me, with me. Okay, so a major step in my healing, in my healing journey came when the Lord, he kind of led me to go back because i have very vivid memory memory i literally remember everything that happened um there was abuse the, I, the only thing i don't remember is the person's face i'm sure if i if i think really hard i've, I've just i've blurred that out my memory intentionally but if i think really hard it may come back anyways so the lord led me to going back would i say just relieving relieving that memory because it, it's something that i've never done I never wanted to do because of the shame and the pain and everything that it it caused because I feel like stole a, a, a significant portion of my life from me. So that led me in reliving that memory. But what he asked me to do was, it's why I want you to go back. And guys, this was torture. This was pain. He said, it's why I want you to go back and you know just relive everything that happened. But I want you to go back and see everything that happens. But I want you to see me in that mobile toilet where you were abused, where you were first abused. Um, <laughs> I want you to see me in that mobile toilet where you were first abused. And I want you to see me weeping on your behalf. I want you to see me crying on your behalf. I want you to see me heartbroken on your behalf. I want you to see me. I'm sorry, guys. I want you to see me. Um, I want you to see me there you know i want you to see that you were not alone when you went through all of that that i was there with you whipping on your behalf and just crying um at the um sight of my daughter being defiled so i did that with the lord and as you can imagine i wept <laughs> i wept and when i when i wept i just felt at peace for the first time in a long time I felt at peace. I felt like I had finally let go of everything and I was at peace with everything. Okay, I think it was the day or the next day that God asked me to share what had happened. And I shared it with my church family. And I was just so amazed at the fact that I could share. This is something I've hidden from everyone for 18 years. And you know, I'm just literally sharing and laughing like a mad person. Like, oh, the Lord did this for me and I'm free. I don't have shame anymore. And that's been my healing journey, guys. I said I'm still healing because there's still a lot of things I'm processing with the Lord, especially not being able to fully accept love, even from like the people closest to me, my friends and my family. But God is helping me. God is helping me so guys thank you so much for watching my my video on handling abuse the lord's way i just really hope that this has encouraged someone if you're like me and you were abused at a young age sexually abused at a young age i just want you to know that that doesn't define your life your life is defined by what god says by who god says you are and i just want you to know that you have overcome you've overcome because jesus has overcome okay 
all right thank you so much for watching my video guys please subscribe like and comment please connect with me on my social media handles isa underscore ol on instagram tara underscore ol on snapchat and isa oladili on facebook if you shared a similar experience like this please feel free to reach out to me um you know and you know if you want to talk feel free to reach out to me i'm more than happy to speak with you all right guys i will see you in my next video bye i want to share this <sighs> okay let's just keep going the ending of 2020 29 2020 2020